The city of Gothenburg has today about half a million inhabitants and will grow with 150,000 new people in the years to come. And of course that is a great challenge to do that in a sustainable way. Today we want to densify the city, so we want 150,000 people to live in central parts of the city instead of growing by sprawl. And that means that we, use, we need to use space more efficiently in the city centre. And also that we have problems with noise and bad air quality that we need to take care of at the same time. You might think air pollution is not that big problem in the city of Gothenburg, but still we estimate about 300 premature deaths due to particle matters. So air quality, yes, is a big um, challenge and clean vehicles is of course an important solution to that. Also traffic noise is a big health issue which is not that much known, but actually we calculate that we have 1,200 healthy life years loss only in the city of Gothenburg. And that is due to stress-related uh, diseases like myocardial infarction, high blood pressure, uh, anxiety, and also leads to cognitive impairment among children. Transport-related challenges in the city cannot be solved by the city itself. We need clean vehicles, we need silent vehicles, we need freight operators that are willing to operate in a different way than today. So we need broad corporations to be able to find good sustainable solutions for the, for the future cities. With silent and emission-free vehicles, you can use space in a completely different way, which means that we can have freight deliveries coming closer to people at times that are not possible today because of disturbances. I would say silent and emission-free vehicles is crucial for our ability to create sustainable cities.